Ladies and gentlemen, your host of the Bumpies, Skeeter Moxley. Yeah! <laughs> I like the crown. Yeah! What a, what a shitter. <laughs> Shit I know. Head. Shit head, shit head, shit head, shit head. Shit Ladies head, and gentlemen, this is the ultimate head. bathroom of the humor. Week. That's Mike! Whatever the hell he calls it. Um, I'm set to do, uh. What the hell am I wearing this all Looks like a leprechaun jizzed in this thing. I am, of course, uh, supposed to do, uh. You know, list the nominees for match of the year. Present the uh, the winner, his uh, golden thingy. But um, HWA management uh, gave me some business to take care of. So. Oh God, he's got more. Don't have to do thing. Don't have all night here. Yes. <laughs> Watch out, it's five it's five million dollars I paid for that. Because mm -hmm. okay. the uh five million dollars. That's the, that's the, <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> you might have seen us in a painting before. Is the timer ready? <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one. <laughs> it is a policy of the hybrid wrestling alliance to produce advertisements for our promotional campaign, bump everything. Because of significant technical glitches in our video library preventing our YouTube monkey Chewbacca from creating a 38 second promotional advertisement with our HWA slogan, Bump Everything, it is policy of our marketing department for the Hyper Grossing Alliance to fulfill its product placement requirements by allowing our newest employee, the lady that holds up our signature cookie sheet, 38 seconds of airtime to stand or sit cheesily with cookie sheet or laptop with insignia and toe of our HWA slogan, Bump Everything, on all HWA shows that do not play said cookie sheet starting tonight. We at the Hyper Grossing Alliance would like to remind everybody. Whether it's in a ring in a 52 under bird in bed or by yourself, bump everything. Yeah! Just kidding! Yeah. Now get out of here. <laughs> I've done 140 mat. Well, no, I haven't done 140 matches. There have been 140 matches in HWA this year, but out of 140 that have taken place in that ring, there have been. I've, I've called about 74 of them. I've taken count. I can tell you my least favorite. It was the first ever six-man tag in the history of this company. It was Double Dragon and Kid Kia against the Familia, Pancho, Alberto Grande, Pedro. I believe it was a Saturday Mayhem. And you want to know why I hated it so much? Because I didn't sound good. It was my second show. I sounded like, you know, the, uh, the typical kid you would throw in a locker in high school. Uh, not the beaver shot boy that you saw <laughs> earlier, but, you know, I was getting used to my hybrid roots. But... It doesn't matter how much a match sounds good, it's how it looks that counts. And the five nominees for Match of the Year it left plenty of magical moments at the House of Hybrid that we will remember forever. So, without further ado, the nominees for 2011 HWA Match of the Year. I find absurd I am your hell Every time You think that I'm done I'll come back stronger And every time You think that you've got me
and the Oy Vey, no. <laughs> and the match of the year is I Quit Houston versus Cash Total Eclipse. I've been battling a cold all week, so, yeah, um, match of the year, you know, it's, uh, quite an honor, um, but, uh, the real winners of this are not me and Kyle Cash, it's the fans that day who kept us going, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to jump through attacks, go through fire, um, Put it all on the line like I did. Speaking of Kyle Cash, uh, ever since that day when he was busted open, I tried to shake his hand. He walked away. I haven't seen him since. So that's why he's not here tonight. Hope to see him back. After all, he is my brother, you know. But uh, me and him have been wrestling each other since we were in diapers. Uh, we faced many times, many stages, backyards, front yards, living rooms. Um, but uh, that day, by far, was the biggest match we ever had. First ever I quit match. Put it all on the line. It was either I lose to him and possibly walk away, or I beat him and finally prove him wrong and prove that I am better. <sighs> HWA, it's such a great company to once again be a part of. I actually was in the first match with Brian Phoenix on the uh, at Spring Breakout last year, first ever show. Stayed with HWA until collateral damage well, no limits. Sorry, why not? I did. I'm doing my best, guys. I did. Woo! Go Houston. Did three shows and uh, was at a point in my life where uh, things weren't working out. Had a lot of problems, so unfortunately, I left HWA. I was gone until September 2011, so a good five months, but. I couldn't stay away. I watched every match, and uh, I wanted to come back, but after the way I left, I wasn't sure if I'd be accepted again. Always, man. And for accepting me back, guys, I thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. I'm back, and uh, I'm going to head into spring breakout next year. It's going to be one year in the making, me and Brian Phoenix. A man I respect, a man that I've wrestled so many times in my arena and in the House of Hybrid. But uh, I don't know if this match is so much about respect as it is me achieving my dream. That is, win the HWA title. Um, as I said, it's one year in, in the making. Phoenix beat me last year. He made me tap. Pussy. But uh, all I can say is a lot can change in one year. And uh, this is by far the biggest title match I've had ever. And uh, fans... Me and Phoenix are going to put on a show, and it may just well be match of the year next year. <clears throat> we can only hope. But, uh, looking forward to the 17th, me and Phoenix, for the HWA title.
once again, it's an honor. I thank you guys. I thank everybody for voting. And uh, f this goes for everybody. The real winners are not the wrestlers. It's you fans and all the fans here tonight. And yeah. all the fans that come out to the shows every single week. That's right. But uh, I'm going to close it with this. Uh, I went home the other day, well, back to my former home, and uh, Mom says, Mike, I think it's time for you to get a real job. I said, this is my job. I don't get paid for it. I don't want to. And it's real. It's damn real. Yeah!